Greetings. What do you need? I'm back from scouting, sir. Excellent. What have you found out? There's an overgrown ruined village in the woods where they're dug in. That sounds like Pribislavitz. It used to belong to Sir Divish before Hamel Maddock attacked and torched it, and then imprisoned Divish. It's been left abandoned ever since. I was hoping they wouldn't be so organized. Earthworks and fortifications. That's quite a different matter from writing some rabble out of the woods. I took a look at their arms and armor. They're not a proper army, but they're equipped quite well. What about archers? There's a few of them, and they're positioned well. If we charge them head on, they'll probably do us a lot of damage. I don't like the sound of that. It complicates the situation. Dealing with them before the battle would be the best option. I tried to count them. And how many of them are there? Bear in mind I'm relying on what you say. We'll have to call for reinforcements, and that's no simple matter. Every man that comes with us will be lacking somewhere else. And I don't want bandits pillaging some other town because there's no one left to mount a defense. There's a lot of them. I couldn't even count them all. Christ. We'll have to gather armed forces from the whole region to defeat them. Even if it means leaving towns and villages unprotected. Every able-bodied man will have to come with us. It's mostly bandits in the camp. They're not villagers with pitchforks, but not regular soldiers either. No more than I expected. I have no fear of them. But underestimating the enemy can be fatal. That's about all I saw, sir. I didn't notice anything else. That's all right. Did you manage any sabotage while you were there, as I asked you? No, sir. Never mind. You did a good job anyway, and you deserve a reward. But now we must get ready to set out as soon as possible and put an end to them. I need you to go to Sir Divish in Talmberg and tell him to send Captain Robard and his men to our aid. There's not enough of us here in the camp. You can rely on me, sir. What should I tell him? Tell Sir Robard to bring all his men, leaving only a minimum guard at the castle, and to send a message to Sir Hanush to send his men too. I'll leave our camp almost empty as well. We'll need every man we can muster. All right, I'll get going. And be quick. We've no time to spare. God be with you. Good luck to you.
Greetings. What do you need? God save, my lord. I hope things are peaceful in your fiefdom. Peace? Peace is rare in these times. But right now I'm more troubled by politics and warfare. What's wrong? The monastery stalled the purchase of stone and everything connected to the building project. <laughs> and now I find out it's because of the quality of the stone blocks, or so they say. I don't believe a word of it. It looks like profiteering to me. What do they say is wrong with the stone? Supposedly, there was an accident when one of the stone blocks broke loose, fell, and killed someone. He says he sends only the best stone, and I believe him. He's reliable and an experienced... Profiteering? What's the mon... To lower the price. What else? Worse? You mean the... You could put it that way. And is anyone dealing with the prop... Well... My Chamberlain is in charge of it. As all so there's nothing else that can be done? I don't know. I've been thinking about taking a more direct approach. I could help with it. Do you think this is a job for I do serve Sir Radzig. He knows he can rely on me when he needs me. I've never let him down. This is true. So... Yes. Good. I'd like you to ask about... I'll do my best. They will. You ride in my name, so don't bring Good luck to you. Sir Radzik sent me with an important message. He asked for reinforcements. He needs more men? What's going on? The bandits and Cumans have set up camp in Pribislavitz. They're preparing for something. Sir Radzik wants to mount an assault on them, but he doesn't have enough men. Hang on. Easy now. From the beginning. What happened? I managed to track down the camp of the bandits who raided Neuhof. But it's not just a gang of brigands, more like a small army in a fortified encampment. I don't know what they're up to, but I'm sure they're getting ready for something, and Sir Radzig wants to destroy them before they get a chance. So it's worse than I thought. But Sir Radzig is right. We should do something about them before it's too late. I'll send my soldiers. Sir Radzig said to take all your men and leave only a minimum guard at the castle. What? We can't leave Talmberg unguarded. We've no choice, sir. The bandits have an awful lot of men. Sir Radzig is leaving his camp almost empty as well. He even said you should send word to Sahanish to send his men too. We need every man we can muster. All right then. Sir Radzig knows what he's doing. I'll muster the men and send them with Captain Robard in command. Would you leave my men there right now? Yes, sir. May God be with you in battle. God be with you. Radzik. I'm glad to see you, Captain Robard. I hope Henry's explained everything to you. He did. But I find it hard to believe. Who could possibly put together such a significant military force? And right under our noses. We'll just have to find out, but I don't think we will until after a battle. If we don't deal with them now, who knows what they'll be capable of in a week or two. I agree entirely, my lord. What's the plan? Right, lad. We're almost at the place you described. Now we'll have to advance cautiously. I need you to tell me how it looks around the camp so I can decide which side to lead the attack from. Sir, that's a big responsibility. I don't think I should... I asked you a question, boy. You've been there and seen everything, so speak up. There are three ways to get in. Directly along the straight path to the camp, the long way round through the woods and over an old weir, or by a narrow bridge over a deep ditch. Let's start with the direct route. That sounds like the easiest approach. How does it look there? That path leads round their battlements. It's fortified and patrolled. The chances are they'd shower us with arrows on the way. It's a good thing you're here, Henry. You'll have to try another way then. What about the approach through the woods and the weir? I don't like the idea of marching such a long way over rough ground, but if it's the better option... It's a long way through the woods, and there are patrols there as well. They'll call the alarm before we reach the camp. I thought so. 
What about the last approach over the bridge? It's a bit narrow for my liking. It's narrow, all right, but once we get over, we can quickly occupy the best ground for a battle. We only have to take down a few archers. The battleground sounds inviting, but that bridge and the archers, it's not an easy decision. Each option has its pros and cons. Well, I try to answer to the best of my ability, sir. And you'll be suitably rewarded for your efforts. From what you say, the route over the bridge is the best option. If we're fast, we'll have the advantage. With the help of God, we'll win this day. We'll approach from the south and storm them over the bridge. Form up. Forward march.
will cleave you into you bastard. You tried before, and yet here I am. What? Who the hell are you? You don't remember me? I remember you, though. Well, where's my fucking sword? What the fuck are you on about? What's... Hang on. You're the... Fuck me. I thought we left you to the crows. Tough little fucker, eh? What did you do with my sword? Judging by our last encounter, I'd say you made a big mistake coming here. Where's my fucking sword? But then again, maybe you've had some practice. I hope so. Because last time was too easy. 